Hi guys. Today I want to show you how you can create your own 3D printer enclosure with simple aluminium extrusions, profile angles, some M5 screws, acrylic sheets and insulation material. But before we start, if you already like the video, please hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss out any project, consider to subscribe. But now let's go right into it. In this video I will show you the design, then some footage of the enclosure, and at the end the best features. So stay tuned and watch till the end. Let's jump into the design, so that I can show you the important steps. First of all let's start with the aluminium frame. If you have cut all aluminium extrusions, you can screw them together with some profile angles and 5 screws. The right dimensions you can find on my building manual, which I will link in the description below. Next you will find all the different 3D printed parts that are mounted on the frame. There you can see the temperature and humidity sensor. The door handles. Three D printed hinges for the acrylic doors. Magnet holders. Three millimeters PTFE tube holder. And the spool holder and stops. For the isolation, I use nineteen millimeters thick Armaflex material. The detailed buy list will also be linked in the description. This material comes in a roll with double-sided tape which I glued onto the hard foam sheets. I used 3mm hard foam sheets and 5mm acrylic sheets. As I said before, the exact dimensions you will find in the building manual. I carefully drilled a few holes in the foam sheets and screwed them down with M5 screws and additional T-nuts. For the ceiling in the middle of the two acrylic doors, I used an 4x6mm PVC tube to make sure that no hot air is going out of the enclosure. Also for the rest of the door insulation, I used a double-sided 5mm EPDM foam so that the doors are also sealed on the sides. The insulation is very important, because this is the main reason why we are building a 3D printer enclosure. To keep the hot air inside to prevent prints with ABS or other engineering plastics from warping. In my design I also placed a smoke detector, but later on you will see that I used a different one. Security is also very important, because you have electronics in there and also you are keeping the heat inside. With no external heater my enclosure reaches round about 40 degrees maximum. Just with the passive heat from the printer. At the end I will unhide my 3D printer, and also the filament roll. It is a Creality CR10. I bought this printer in 2018. And I also made a lot of upgrades till now. If you are also interested which upgrades I did, write it in the comments below. An important factor for me was, that the filament roll is inside the enclosure. Last you can see the space, where all cables are going out of the enclosure. I also mounted two cable tubes on the sides, and placed my control box on the top. But, I will show you more right now, so stay tuned. Inside the enclosure are, two temperature and humidity sensors, which control the ambient temperature and monitor everything. I also have a smoke detector outside, which is integrated in my smart home system which can notify me remote, or basically when I'm not at home. I also have a camera in my enclosure, which is integrated in my Octoprint system, to let me monitor my prints, on the smartphone or when I'm sitting next to my computer. On the side I have two cable tubes, which allowed me to keep all the cables safe and in place. At the top of the enclosure I have the CR10 control box, and also the Raspberry Pi, where Octoprint is running. 
For my last project I also used a ESP32 to control my LED setup in the enclosure. Here you can see, the DHT11 temperature sensor, and my own build filament runout sensor, which is integrated in Octoprint. I also designed, my own door snapping system, with magnets. The door snaps right in place, and also seals properly. Here you can see my filament guide system. To keep the filament runout sensor in place and also guides the filament, so that the filament comes from above. There is also my second smoke detector inside the enclosure, to be on the safe side. In the shelf I also have a UPS system. You prevent that a short interruption in the grid stops my printer. Besides the UPS there is also my Raspberry Pi where my smart home system is running. In this system the 3D printer is also integrated. I will show you the extra features now. Finally, let's jump into the features and security options. Here you can see the overview of my home assistant site where I track everything of the prints, besides Octoprint. These informations are coming from Octoprint. So basically, if the printer is printing or not, what are the current temperatures from the hot end and bed, how much of the print job is actually done. Here you can see the current values of the smart smoke detector. It is actually at 2. If there is a fire the value would be at around 255. I tried it with the smoke of a candle and it worked. With the help of an automation I instantly got multiple pop-up messages on my phone, so that I am getting a warning if something happens and I'm not at home. So if the smoke detector detects smoke, multiple messages will be sent from my telegram bot to my smartphone. I programmed it so that after each message there is a 3 seconds delay and then the next message will be sent. In summary I will get 10 messages. In my workshop I have two temperature sensors, which are integrated in the smart home system. One is placed in my drying oven, where I am trying out my filament before a long print. The sensor tracks, the humidity and the temperature. And the second one are actually in the 3D printer enclosure. You can see exactly when I started a print. The temperature goes up, and the humidity goes down. I also placed a hard switch where I can manually turn off the LEDs. But basically, I also set up that when the print is finished the lights are turning off after a specific time. In Octoprint, you can see the data from the DHT11 sensor on this button. I think it's also nice to track and monitor this data. So, I think that were the important facts about my enclosure, 